most animals can only grunt or growl or squeak. But an animal is smarter than a plant. Those animals have tongues and they can learn to speak. But trees and shrubs and vegetation can't. <laughs> What? Water? Water? Uh, water? Come on in now! Really, Armel, dear, surely you can't still be thirsty. That's the eleventh bottle of pop today. Only the eleventh? Where do you put it all? You must have hollow legs. Now be off with you. Some of us have work to do. This house won't tidy itself up, you know. All right. Thanks for the pop. Oops. Careful, Armel, dear. <coughs> Eleven bottles. <sighs> I'm sure it wasn't there yesterday. Perhaps you weren't watching where you were going, Shoehorn. <laughs> Look who's talking. <laughs> Don't you dare laugh at me. What's your daisy? Mayday, mayday. What? That's what you say when you're heading for a crash landing. Crash landing? Where? <laughs> couple over there, and one more right beside me. Oh, very funny. Look what you've done to my beautiful shell. Look what I've done. You crashed into it. Anyway, you can't make a shell out of leaves. I can if I want to. Oh, come on, laugh, you, you little thorn ball. Well, of course you don't want to laugh. You must be lonely out here all on your own. I expect it gets pretty boring standing around in the sun with no one to talk to. Mm. Oh, and it's so hot. Whoa, how do you stand it without a sun hat? No, no, no! <laughs> <laughs> you stay here, Thorny. I'll be right back. <laughs> Come out of here, or well, I'll soon wipe that smile off your face. Don't look now, Pip, but someone's stealing your shell. Huh, what? There, that's better, isn't it? Thanks to Hermel's famous wind and shade maker. Hey, what's the idea? That's my shell you just stole. There now, that's cooler, isn't it, little cornball? Little thorn ball. Oh, first you steal my shell, and then you start making disparaging comments about my height. I wasn't talking to you, was I? Oh, I suppose you're gonna try to tell me that you were talking to that cactus. There's no law against it. <laughs> you really are talking to a cactus. <laughs> are you completely nuts, or what? <laughs> hey, a male talking to a cactus. <laughs> and I suppose you're expecting an answer. Well, I don't know. We'll just have to wait and see. <laughs> well, you're gonna have to wait a very long time then, because that cactus is never gonna talk. I'll give it some of the professor's talking drops. Then it'll talk. Uh, wanna bet? Okay, it's a bet. <laughs> Good morning, Mr. Palm Dwee. And how are you today? Well, what's the matter? Cat got your tongue? <laughs> A talking cactus! <laughs> Out! Ouch. Hey, come back here! Hey, Swindleman! Wait! You can't go in safari without me! 
Oh, I can't go anywhere without that slimy little zookeeper tagging along. Ah, oh, there you are, Slimer. Enjoy your little run. structure by oxidation, then of course the... No, 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 that won't work. I'm surprised you can get anything to work in this mess. Ah, now, if we accept the premise that the neutrinos will act in inverse, or should that be... Ah! Oh! Oh, dear, it's all so complicated. So let's approach the whole thing from another angle. If we... Professor, could you make your discovery somewhere else? I'm cleaning here, if you don't mind. <coughs> Professor! What? Where? Is that you, Tuts? What do you have a study for? Oh, all right. At least I'll get some peace. Hermel? What are you doing in my medicine cabinet? Oh, uh, well, I was just looking for some pop. Since when do we keep Pop in the medicine cabinet? Oh, yeah. I thought it was in the fridge. Uh, bye. Amel, dear. Ah! Your soda pop. The twelfth bottle. Twelve? That many? Oh, look. You've still got a little bit left in your glass from the last bottle. Oh, oh. So I have. Armel, dear. Uh, yes. Straw. Oh, thanks. Okay, Thornball. Now you're going to learn how to talk. Whew! This Armel hunting's hot work. Yes, but worth it, my friend. Just think, when that wretched animal is on display in my museum... My zoo? My museum! The world will beat apart to... Oh, I wish you wouldn't do that! Say, Mama! Oh, come on! It's easy! Mama! Mm, maybe cactuses need extra drops. <laughs> Okay, this time, Mama. Come on for me, Mama. Uh, ma Whoa, whoopee! <gasps> it spoke! Pip, pip, it spoke! I won the bet! <laughs> now, where on earth did I put that glass? I know I had it last night because... My little four-ball talked! <laughs> I taught the cactus to talk! Ermel, that's impossible. I, I did, honest. Come on, I'll, I'll prove it. Ermel, <laughs> And it really said Mama. Shh, quiet. So how did you get him? Shh, Tuts, please. We need complete silence. Uh, ma. Can't you two please be quiet? It was the cactus, Professor. It spoke. Incredible. Quite incredible. <laughs> Careful, Ermel. We don't want you exploding. <gasps> Who ever heard of a talking plant? <laughs> a talking plant? And why not? There are such things as carnivorous plants, aren't there? We'll see who's about to explode! Talking plants? Yes, why not? You may have stumbled upon something, Ermel. I'll have to look into this. <laughs> <laughs> Already. Ah, 
Now, what do you make of that, Slimer? Truly a diabolical weapon. Oh, yes. Diabolical. <laughs> now, watch closely, Slimer. First, we take the suction cup. Then we coat the cup with this special super strength glue. Gotcha! We load the crossbow with the arrow. Take aim, fire, and whammo! One Ermel caught like a rat in a trap. Yes! Oh, yes, yes, yes! Uh, then what happens? Then we throw the sandbags out of the balloon and we take off. Ah, and your mouth left dangling on the end of the rope. Right. Slimeyer, you're so incredibly smart. Land in sight! Island of Happening Ahoy! Full speed ahead, Captain! Oh, what a lovely little diabolical weapon. Ah! Slimer, what are you playing at, you buffoon? If we concentrate the talking drops, they should be strong enough to make even a plant talk. Sing even. I can see it now. The first vegetable choir in the world. Oh, no, 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 no. The chickpeas will all start clucking away while they're cooking in the pot. I prefer my vegetables nice and quiet. Hmm, yes. Maybe you've got a point. Well, then, we'll just have to find a test plant that grows wild, even if I have to tame it myself. There goes plan A, thanks to you, Slimeyer. But I'll get that babbling varmint even if I have to catch him with my bare hands. I feel that I'm on the brink of a great discovery. Oh, oh, good. It was Ermel who gave me the idea. Me? You and your cactus. I am determined to discover whether speech can be taught to a plant. All I have to do is find the right plant. But I will need your help to find it. A sort of plant safari. The safari? Is hereby wow. opened. I'm counting on you all. Watch with the bucket, Shermel. You've got to wear a pith helmet on safari to protect you against coconuts. I don't need any coconut protection. Well, I like mine. If it were a bit bigger, it would make a wonderful shell. I can't see a blooming thing. Ah, oh, so what's new? You never see anything. <laughs> okay, let's split up. Wawa, you go. Wawa. Helmet? I don't think so. A beret, maybe. But a bucket? Nah. On the other hand... Pip! Shoehorn! Stand by! Prepare to dive! Dive! Stupid bucket! Huh? Captain the ground control! Captain the ground control! Oh, dear. I don't know if they're really going to be all that helpful. They're all crazy, those guys. It looks like I'm the only one that's going to be any help. Come on, Slimeyer. Keep up. Keep up. I'm coming. I'm coming. Just stop for a little breather. What was that? What the devil? Uh, push off, you little... Go on, get out of here. <laughs> nice shot. <laughs> Aha! Tiddly Pom and her talking menagerie. Let me see. Keep down, you fool. Yes, very nice. Very nice indeed. I see you've all found something. But only mine can speak. Oh, yeah? What's it gonna say? Blub? Huh? No, this is the plant that's gonna speak. That? You call that a plant? A shell plant? Can it talk you on? This is a leaf from a mammoth tree. A really unusual plant. Used to be my home when A was no bigger than that. 
when the wind blows, it sounds like it's singing. I'm sure it's a very special plant, Shoehorn. Well, they're all special. But what we really need is a plant with some sort of mouth. Otherwise, we'll never learn to talk. Here, now this is an insect-eating plant. You see its mouth? Slimer, I think we shall have to resort to Plan B. Plan B, good idea. Uh, what is Plan B? Tiddlypom wants a plant with a mouth. And you, Slimer, have the biggest mouth I've ever seen. And an appetite to match. Well, I have to admit, I like a snack or two every now and then. Slimer, you are about to become a carnivorous plant. Me? I, a carnivorous plant, but... No, no, Slimer, no buts. After all, you can't expect me to play the part. I'm seriously... incommoded. Come on, you guys! Let's get going on our safari! <coughs> hey! Wait for me! Ermel, dear! Now, you understand. You lure the Ermel to this exact spot. Exact spot? Yes. The Ermel steps into the noose. This noose? Yes. And what do you do then, Slymire? Uh... No, not Erm. Um. You shout, pull in the noose. Right, got it. Pull in the noose! <laughs> so what happens then? Ermel to rope, rope to balloon, and off we go. Got it, Slimer? Ermel to balloon, off we... Aha! Ingenious Swindleman! <laughs> yes. Isn't it? But unfortunately, Slimer, there will be no room for you on the return flight. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Here you are. Mmm, yum, yum. Tasty zipper food. Come on, you'll love it. Oh, and low in calories, too. Oh, perhaps you'd like some. Mm. Found it! I found a plant with a mouth! Oh, hey! Hey, come on, I won't hurt you. Ermel! Hey! Look! Will you stand still? Ha! Now I got ya! <laughs> Let me have another twine! <laughs> okay, partner. Reach! Well, it can eat, that's for sure. But will it be able to speak? It doesn't look all that intelligent. And it certainly has no manners. Did you hear that? I most certainly did. Evidence of basic language ability. Here they are. My new concentrated talking drops. Let's hope they work. Can I do it? After all, I found it. <laughs> That's no plant. It's a slime-ire. Slime-ire? No, no, I think there must be some mistake. I don't think there's any mistake, Mr. Slime-ire. No, no, I assure you, I, uh... Oh, good grief. Is that the time? <laughs> I have an urgent appointment. Must fly. <laughs> bye! Must flee. And bye. bye. Poor Ormel. You didn't have time to say goodbye to your talking plant. <laughs> <laughs> Come back, you! You bell, you imposter! <laughs> I'll bet Swindleman's at the bottom of this. It's probably some kind of trap. Trap? 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 Come on, Tiddly Pom. What are we waiting for? You'll be sorry. <laughs> Don't worry, Armel. I'm right behind you. <laughs> Look out, Pip. Armel! <laughs> Where are you? Armel! Try to make a fool of me, will you? Well, you'll be 
Glass and my Hermel. <laughs> You're in for it now when I get my hands on you. Swindleman, help! Hermel's after me. <laughs> Finally, the Hermel will be mine. <laughs> Make such a fuss, Slimeyer. After I put the Hermel on display in my museum, I might come back and rescue you. <laughs> then again, <laughs> I might not. <laughs> Really, Hermel, you only had your supper ten minutes ago. Say, ah. Ah. There. I heard it. Plants can talk. What did it say? Oh, it said something to the wasp there, but I didn't hear what it was. I know what it said. What was it? It said, I'm starving. <laughs> Most animals can only grunt or growl or squeak. But an animal is smarter than a plant. Cause animals have tongues and they can learn to speak. But trees and shrubs and vegetation can't. <laughs> 